Okay, find some more Gabriel Knight, the beast within. I try to beat this game today. Right, last time I played, we got this uh, letter from Hongglauer. We also have the talisman now. The Ritter talisman. What happens if we go back to uh, Gabriel? Just gonna be standing guard there now. I'll keep the talisman until Gabriel's better. It might not react well to that stuff in his blood. I'll tell him about the letter, eventually, when I have everything else under control. Hmm. I can't reach the bird through the bars. Why would I want to reach the bird? Werner looks about as interested in talking to me as I am in talking to him. He feels pretty bad about Gabriel. Sit down, Grace. Gabriel seems awfully sick. Of course he does. His body's fighting that blood something fierce. You know, dear, I wouldn't count on Gabriel being pleasant or even cooperative. He is quite literally not himself. You think I shouldn't really let it bother me that he's being such a butthead? Well, don't worry, he's always like that. It will get worse. Do you think that we really need to keep him locked up in there? It seems so cruel. He'll be more at ease knowing he's locked up in there and can't harm anyone if he does change. I suppose so. His only chance now is the destruction of his maker. I know. Emil will watch over Gabriel in the dungeon? Yes, dear. Besides, you have other things to attend to, don't you? Yes, the opera. And the diagram, I have to get them. Do you think you'll be able to do that by yourself? Just watch me. Do you know anything about El Totting? Yes, it's a pilgrimage shrine. Emil and I have been there. But I didn't know about the hard urns at the time. It's one of those places that vibrates with spiritual energy. It's very strong. Mm -hmm. I think they had the first miracle in... Oh, about the middle of the 1700s. But the Black Madonna herself is much older than that. I'm confused what I'm asking about here. I don't remember finding out anything about that. There's something I think you should see. Oh, my. Has Gabriel seen this? No. Well, my dear, you I understand your reluctance, but it's his karma, you know? It's his choice. He's the son, you know, von Glauer. He's the son of von Rolick. Yes, I think you're right. And he wants Gabriel. So it seems. But that doesn't mean Gabriel wants that life. He didn't ask to be bitten. <sighs> You don't know him like I do. Running on all fours wouldn't be a big stretch. I won't tell you the choice will be an easy one. But it's a battle he must fight. All you can do is believe in him. That's all you can do. Now you be careful. We didn't get much out of that. Werner looks about it. Hmm. The lilies died after all. Hmm. Yeah, look at that, uh, window.
Yeah, I doubt there's anything in here. Those look better. Gerda must have really loved Wolfgang. Martin Ritter, 1190 to 12. Mm hmm. Hey, why is there an exit this way? Oh, the screen wasn't scrolled. <laughs> How is Gabriel? Is he going to be all right? He'll be fine, Gerda. Let me know if I can help. Sure. Thanks. Gerda's offered to help, but I can't think of anything she can do at the moment. Mm. I'm not sure why she'd want to see that. I'm not sure why. Are we going to ask her about it or something? Okay, where to? Oh, is this the place we asked about? How do I know about this place exactly? I mean, I guess we can go there now. These all say Maria hat gehelfen. Mary helped. These all. Mm. Penitent offerings. A replica is made for the part of the body you wish to have healed. The replica is offered to the Lady of Altading as a token of faith. I wonder if these penitent gifts do any good. I wonder if there's something we could do for Gabriel there. I just seem to remember this location. I suppose the crosses are gifts from the cured, or are they another means of petitioning the lady? I'd better wait till the service is over. Hmm. In other words, they probably want me to do other things first. These all say Maria hat gehelfen. Mary helped. Hello. Yeah, for some reason my memory doesn't remember this chapter very well. Scott, is it possible to see Ludwig's heart urn? Das tut mir leid. Das Herz für Ludwig des Spiter von Bayern. Haben Sie das Herz? Das Herz. Herz. Do you not oh, speak German? No, not my heart. I'm not sick. What is that? Thanks. If you have a special prayer to make or wish to place a penitence offering, I can lead you to the shrine. Mary's water. It looks like they want a donation. Might as well. Mm. 
water from the Black Madonna Spring. I'd better wait until the service is over. Mm -hmm. I have a prayer for the Madonna Father. I guess later. You'll take me when the service is over. <sighs> yes, Father. Hmm. So this is about the uh, the part of the thing that we said, I said with my heart or whatever. I would assume. We we'll probably have to head here and try to find the rest of them first. Uh, now I gotta try to remember where those were. According to Gabriel, Ludwig was arrested at that door. Well, he never did make it to the tower, so I guess I don't need to worry about what's up there. I'll never get away with it while there's a guard in the room. The Black Madonna from Al Tati. Hmm. Now we get the guard out of the room. I guess I could wait around a different room. that about like why did that how did that help me I'm surprised people don't sit in these chairs when the guards not looking these linens look seriously expensive and seriously old I wait in here will she come I know before they used to move back and forth Trying to say she followed me over here. Hmm. It's weird that you can't look at all the different things. You're not coming? Hmm. There she is. What if I don't walk immediately back there? I doubt there's anything left in there now. Where was the... the other ones? Hmm. These paintings do represent scenes from Wagner's Lost Wolf Opera. At least that's one mystery solved. That adjoining hallway might be useful. That adjoining hallway might be useful. I don't think I need to move the table. 
I'll never get away with it while there's a guard in the room. Hmm. How do I get the guards to move, I don't though? think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. Wait, I don't remember being able to go to this angle. I wish I could have seen these through Ludwig's eyes, like Gabriel did. I'll never get a- Hmm. Anything else in this angle? I can almost feel Ludwig again, seeing these things. Do I have to just wait in the room where they are? Get rid of them? It feels like there's a lot more guards than usual. She's not moving. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. I wish I could have seen these through Ludwig's eyes, like Gabriel did. Mm. These linens look seriously expensive, and seriously old. More swans. I don't remember where any other... I remember those two, but... I doubt there's anything... I doubt... Hey, he grabbed them from there, didn't he? Is there one in here somewhere? These paintings do... I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. That adjoining hallway might be useful. That adjoining... Not sure what that means. The adjoining hallway might be useful. Hmm. Grace Nakamura. have an idea. This is the only one that seems to move because there's nobody in this room. Am I supposed to just go all the way around? The, they don't see me go back into that room? Crucifix, ivory and gold. I wish I could have seen these through loot. What if I wait in here? Does she eventually move or something? I'm a little confused how this works. Overthinking this or underthinking it? It's gotta be a reason they showed that kid get up on the chair. Unless they're just trying to show you that you could do stuff while the guards aren't watching. Hmm. What if I sit in a room like this? Does anything happen? We don't have any items to bug them with, do we? Hmm. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. Yeah, so it's only that one room that gets affected. I'm a little confused by it. Oh. 
I'm the sacrilegious using holy water for this. Entschuldigen Sie bitte. Die Kinder. Ich hole etwas, um es auszuwischen. Yeah, we just ruined a chair for this. I guess it's just water, but still. And nobody in this entire museum's history tried to like, clean that panel or anything? <laughs> Wagner's opera. It really exists. Just part of it though, right? Okay, now how do I get into... Oh, she's back. I don't want to sit in the chair, but perhaps there's a way to convince the guard that someone else did? How come it didn't say that last time? Didn't last time it say I'm surprised nobody uh, sits in this when they're not looking? How do we do anything with this room now? I'll never get away with it while there's a guard in the room. I don't think I need to move the table. So how do we get rid of her? We just sit here till she leave? Probably not. Is that whole adjoining thing? Nothing we can do in here, is there? What if I wait here? Does she eventually come in here? Because it's weird that there's no guards in this room. Nobody cares about the study? I guess not. That adjoining hallway might be useful. For what? These paintings do represent. Hmm. These paint. These. Pa I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. I stand in here? Does somebody come by? What, what does that mean by it could come in handy? Hmm. That adjoining hallway might be useful. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my... These paintings... These pa these pa mm. How do we get rid of her? I don't think I need to move the table. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic. I don't think the guards would be mm. sympathetic. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic. I guess we can try going back here for a sec. Doubt it's changed yet though. Can I get more of water? I don't need another bottle. He won't take me into the shrine until the service is over. No, so it's not over yet. I 
I'd better wait till the service is over. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to find a way to do this, it's just how. These linens look seriously ex I don't want to sit in the chair, but perhaps there's a way to convince the guard that someone else did? while there's a guard in the room. And how do we get her out of the room? I don't think the guards would be... Something I could do in here? I doubt there's anything... Is it useful? I honestly don't remember this part, like how to do this. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. from here to go to the other side, right? It always goes to that part. Hmm. There's nothing in here to click on. I don't think the guards would I don't think the guards <laughs> would be simple. It'd be funny if you just bribe her to go. Hmm. Can't really think of what to do here. Hoping she would just leave or something. I don't think I need to move the table. I doubt there's anything left in there now. Besides, the guard would kill me if I touched it. No way to bring her in here? It doesn't help that when they do move, it takes them a while. Everything I've tried, nothing seems to be changing.
Nice view of the Alps. Nice view of the Alps. I wish I knew what the heck it's talking about either, because I don't understand how this place is shaved. Like, you can't go in this way. That adjoining hallway might be useful. It's not like there's any other way to move in here. Like, is this room supposed to be the same room that's over here? Like, it's hard to tell. This is a different picture. These paintings do represent scenes from Wagner. It's a different door than this one. These pa these. What does it say about- like, I don't understand the adjoining part of it. I don't think the go- That adjoining hallway might be useful. That adjoining hallway. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing an item or something? That's be something we get from Rittersburg, right? Ant has offered to help, but I. We didn't go up here yet. Oh. Ah! This is why you're supposed to check places, even when you know there's not going to be anything there. How is this going to help me, though? Oh, case. Fresh sheets. That was nice of Gerda. Might as well check in here as well. I think the time for research has passed. I don't have time for that today. I don't have time for that today. We have a pillowcase. I'm trying to think if that helps me at all. Ant has offered to help. would be sympathetic. Again, how does this help me? That adjoining hallway might be useful. Okay. Fresh sheets. That was nice of Gerda. Maybe it's not for here, actually. I'll give them to Gabriel. I just don't know what we could use a pillowcase for. Mayor Habermas probably has his hands full today. Hmm. Werner looks... She can't give me any more advice.
Yeah, I really don't know how pillowcase can help. <laughs> It's just something over here I can do, I don't know. What's going on? I'd better wait till the service is over. I wonder if these penitent gifts do any good. Wait a minute. I think I just thought of. Just randomly. I don't have time to put the rest of the sheets on the bed. I don't have time to put the rest of the sheets on the hmm. bed. I wonder if we needed Gabriel's hair or something. I don't have time to put the rest of the sheets. Nice view of the Alps. There's nothing in the secret passage that could help me now. There's nothing in the secret passage that could help me now. Hmm. Ed has offered to help. I'm not sure why she'd want to see that. I'm not sure why. Not sure what I'm missing here. I know it's too early to click that hint button because it's just gonna tell me all three places have something for me. <laughs> sympathetic to my cause. I don't think the have figured oh wait a minute I just thought of something as I was walking over here not sure why I would need to do this though I can't reach the bird through the bars the reason I need the bird I don't want to disturb him Like, why does it mention that, like, I can't reach it through the bars? The post office is closed. Of course it is. There's not too many options of things to deal with right now. Oh, 
just goes up there when you do that. Grace Nakam. The lilies died after all. The lilies died. Wait a minute though, when I looked at the in thing it mentioned all three places, what else do I need in here? I said I'd come back and talk to them later. What does it say on that? Act one. So there are yeah, there's probably three of them. Werner looks about as <laughs> Can't turn this over. If you have a special prayer to make or wish to place a penitence offering, I can lead you to the shrine. Hmm. I have no idea what that says. Looks It's gotta be the second act, I just don't know how to get it. Or how her pillowcase helps me get it. According to Gabriel, Ludwig was arrested at that door. Well, he never did make it to the tower, so... Mm. I can almost feel Ludwig again, seeing these things. I can almost mm. These linens look seriously expensive and seriously old. If you wait here, she still comes back. Is there any reason for that? Hmm. Stay in this room, does, does one of them come after you, or...? would be sympathetic to my cause. How the hell do I get her to move? I'll never get away with it while there's a guard in the room. This doesn't move at all. The other guards have like idle animations. I don't think the guards would be simple. Really nothing to interact with in here.
that adjoining hallway might be useful. Ow. Ugh, it's frustrating. Maybe I missed something over here. You need that water. These all. I wonder if these penitent gifts do any good. I think I'll do my petitioning inside the chapel. These all say... Hello. You want a pillowcase? I'm not making myself understood. I'd better wait until the service is over. I don't need another bottle. Everything points to that pillowcase being what I need. But I don't understand where I'm supposed to use it. Is there something in Riddersbury I can use it on? I'd give it to the people. I don't want to just. That silver heart reminds me of the silver penitent gifts at Altotting. I wonder if... No, that wouldn't be right. Maybe I should just ask her. Oh! Why does that remind... Did I miss one that looked like that? That's incredibly weird. Gerda, I have something to ask you. It's really awful. What is it? You know the silver heart you got for Wolfgang's casket? Yes. If I paid you to have another one made, do you think I could take the one at St. George's? It's for Gabriel, isn't it? Yes. Take it. Wolfgang will understand. I mean, he literally Thank ripped so out much, his uh, heart to help Gabriel, so... <laughs> he can uh, lose another heart. <laughs> I'm just surprised I need this, like... It feels weird that I'm, I'm... I wonder if this has nothing to do with the part I'm stuck at. I could see maybe the mass is going to stop while this goes on. Gerda's silver mourning heart for Wolfgang. Did I miss one in here that looked like that? It's 
curious. I mean, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. Oops. This is so weirdly shaped. Hello. So if I. He won't take me into the shrine until the service is over. But it's not over still? So that didn't help me. Hmm. He won't take me. Just to make sure. I'd better wait till the service is over. Wait, do they have a separate movie for that depending on which direction you came from? That's interesting. I wonder why they would do that. I wish I have that done, I guess, but it doesn't, didn't really help me just yet. I think I still need this Act 2 one, I just don't understand how to get it. How do I get rid of her? I still have something to do with this pillowcase, but like, what? I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. Can I always try rewatching the clip again, but... What was it? Chapter 6 opening movie? We have to watch like the intro part of it again. This was the part that was uh, about that, right? I just want to see if it, there's any other hints in this that I didn't see. I also want to confirm that there's only three of them. I don't have to watch this whole part again. Or was it before this that uh, they showed it? Was it before this or no? I think it is after this. No! No! Okay, here we are. Wish I could have just skipped ahead to this. But it's just three of them. Of course, we already got that one. There's no hint here on this one. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute.
this one in that room. Oh, so there are more than three. I thought I just saw him only take three out. Yeah, then he gets caught and all that thing. Okay. So where was it? It's under one of the pictures? What is this room, right? These paintings. That adjoining hallway might be useful. This... Hmm, this doesn't even look that like the same spot. might be useful. I don't think the guards... I see there's a thing that moves down, but I don't think there is on any of these. Is it the other room that I'm thinking of? Is it, no, it's not in here. There's underneath like a painting, but... I didn't tell what room that was. I didn't leave anything here. doesn't make any sense to me. I can't find where that room is. Unless it is supposed to be this room, but it didn't... Because it was too zoomed in, I couldn't tell exactly where it was. There's seats in front of all these. I don't understand where that that third one was. These paintings. That didn't really help me, did it? That adjoining hallway might be useful. That, that adjoining hallway might be useful. That adjoining hallway might be. What am I missing here? I think you'd be able to do this in some sort of order. I'll never get away with it while there's a guard in the room. I don't think the guards would be some. Tend to be a ghost, can we?
It's just some other item I need. I don't really understand it. I don't have time to sit around. Too much to do. Anne has offered to help, but I can't think of anything she can do at the moment. I don't have time to... I don't have time to... I don't have time to put the rest of the sheets on the bed. It's kind of weird that you can come in here and there's nothing to do in here. I think the time for re- I think the- Like, why can you even sit at the desk if there's nothing there right now? I wonder if Gabriel will ever write again. We can only hope not. Jeez. I don't have time- I don't- Nice view of the Alps. Werner, look, she can't give me any more advice now. Mm. I don't want to disturb. I'll tell him about the letter. I can't reach the bird through the bars. Why would I want to? I can't reach the... I don't think that would be of any use with... Hmm. Not making any headway in this uh, chapter today. Still stuff to do everywhere, of course. Oh wait, maybe I just thought of something. Maybe there's something more I can do here like in the front area. These all say I think I'll do my petitioning inside the chair. I wonder if these penitent gifts do any good. Hmm. I'd better wait till the service is over. Hello. He won't take me into the shrine until the service is over. I'd have to actually look this up because I I'm completely lost on how to do the rest of this. There are two of them that I'm I don't know how to do, so I'm kind of confused. Unless they're somehow related to each other. I wish I could have seen. I wish I could have seen these through Ludwig's eyes. The Black Madonna from Altadine. Ludwig really had a connection with her. where that third one is that they showed. I'll never get away. And it's weird that I can't like find a spot 
where it's supposed to be. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. I don't think the... that room with like the picture and stuff that he knelt down and opened in? That adjoining hallway might be useful. That, 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 that adjoining, that adjoining, that ad, that adjoining hallway might be useful. I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to look up a hint. It's taking forever here, trying to find this. Uh. Does this one even have a UHS thing? I just need like a tiny hint, I think. Chapter 6. Wait, what? Hopefully that's not a bug with ScumVM. The hint I just got doesn't make any sense to me. This one's an easier one to get because the guard isn't as attentive. So this guard apparently is sometimes not here. But we've been in here multiple times. And she's always there. So what the f what the hell is it talking about? Huh? I'll never get away with it while there's a guard in the room. We have waited in here before, so I don't really understand the scent. We tried this because I tried to go to the next hint, and it just said, uh, just wait here if she's here. But nothing's happening. Unless maybe I have to do something else first. Oh, I swear we did this. That's gonna bother me. At least we got it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how long you have to wait in these rooms for shit to happen. Well, we got the second one. She's in here. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. So, I'm gonna sit here for a long time and hope something happens. <laughs> maybe I've been clicking. Maybe every time I click on something, it resets the timer or something. I thought I waited in both these rooms, so... Nothing. 
nothing's happening. With the side. Nothing here either. That adjoining hallway might be useful. Useful for what? Like, I don't understand where it is in this room. It makes no sense. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. I think I only need one more act. Oh. But... I'm a little confused. That was the part that he had buried with his heart. And that's some misinterpreting what happened in that video. I'd better wait till the service is over. Hello. I'm not making myself a... He won't take me... Hmm. I always try sitting in some of these rooms. I don't know if anything would happen. Hmm. You know what? It did show him in here for a bit. Maybe if I sit in here, I don't know. Maybe something will happen. But what though? <laughs> it's a beautiful crucifix, ivory and gold. All of a sudden, she's not there. She's in this room now. I wish there was a spot I could click on so that I knew it was in here. But when I did look on the hint site, there was a thing that said, How do I get the one in the singer's hall? And it says singer's hall up here. I didn't click on the hint though because. I feel like we could probably figure this out, maybe. Grace Nakamura. I don't think the guards would be sympathetic. Because the area it showed is not here. That adjoining hallway might be useful. What is it talking about? It might be useful. That a, that... 
Unless I'm missing an item, I don't get this. Maybe something changed in Rittersburg after getting that second one? Ganda's offered to help, but... What would have changed? There's no way to get Gabriel's, uh... Order thing, right? So I, think I can think of play recording through the uh, thing. I don't want to disturb him. Hmm. I can't reach the bird through the bars. Why would I want to reach it? I don't understand that. I don't think that would be of any use with the bird. I don't think. Just to get something like food or something. I can't reach the bird through the bars. I don't think that would be. I don't think. She can't give me any more advice now. I think I'll steal one of these rolls. Please do. Here, you know, you're thin as a rail. I saw that that was an item. Before I talked to her, and I thought, I'm going to talk to her first, and then I forgot about it. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not very observant today. I don't know what this is for, though. I thought of an idea what this could be for, and it's absolutely terrible. It is what it's for, isn't it? Oh no! Just take him. That bird is way too calm. It's all right. You're just gonna help me out for a bit, and then you'll be free. <laughs> this is a terrible plan. I don't know why I don't remember this chapter very much. I guess we're just gonna release the bird into the adjoining hallway. Oh my god. <laughs> Pico, little birdie. <laughs> He's like a chill bird. Wie ist das Ding hier hereingekommen? Doesn't seem like he'd be that hard to catch, though. Okay, but now what? Is it? Oh, it is right where he was standing. Okay. See, I don't think that camera angle was very clear on where that was.
Yay. get tons of birds in here with it just being open like that. Wait, he went back to standing there, but he wasn't standing there. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so is that going to change what's going on over here? Oops. Try we can't go see that one guy. Ha. I don't want to disturb her. The walls are covered with silver penitent offerings. The Madonna must be in that inner shrine. I'm not sure I can go back there by myself. I have a gift for the Madonna, Father. If I could get away with moving that chair, I could reach the urns. The heart urns. I think I know which one is Ludwig's, but how am I going to get it down? I think... Mm -hmm. We distract him somehow? He's praying for me. Good. I need all the help I can get. It's the Lady of Altadin. Where are we supposed to put this? Mm -hmm. I think that door leads outside. I think that door leads outside. If I could get away with moving that chair, I could reach the urns. I think the box is for penitent offerings. Ah. I didn't notice that many people in here. Take this gift. I think you know why I'm here. I apologize for even thinking of violating your shrine. But you know I need to get what's inside Ludwig's urn. I think you want me to help him and Gabriel. Gabriel may be egotistical and selfish, but he's got a good heart, I think. Anyway, he doesn't deserve this curse. Help me help both of them. Please.
I hope this works. And some wind. I only have a few seconds. <laughs> Don't mind me just stealing this royalty guy's uh, urn. Oh, she almost bumped the lid off. Tense music. So if we already had the three play parts, what is this? This is four acts to play. I just said I only need one more when. Wind sound is distracting. Two months later. So Gabriel's just been lying in that dungeon for two months. Oh, so that's what this is what we got, the diagram? I suppose that large X had something to do with the seating arrangements. It's in a nice line from the chandeliers. Wagner's layout of the theater. Wagner's layout of... Hmm. Der Fluch des Engelhardt by Richard Wagner, conducted by Herr Klaus Immerding and Herr Georg Immerding. I can't believe we've pulled it off. The Curse of Engelhard by Richard Wagner, Act One. Many years ago, in a small German village, go. there lived a young man named Engelhard. Engelhard was a lowly blacksmith's apprentice. He was fair of face, but by nature gentle and shy. Being orphaned and having lived with the blacksmith in virtual slavery since his parents died, Engelhard had nothing in the world to claim as his own—nothing, that is, but an amazing talent. 
For ten years, the beautiful and much-desired wares that had passed for the blacksmith's own had actually been produced by Inglehart. The blacksmith, a greedy and vain man, was determined to keep this a secret. He forbade Inglehart to ever work the metal in front of another soul, on pain of death. But the blacksmith's ingratitude went further still. He was so plagued with envy of Inglehart's talents that he treated Inglehart like a lazy and worthless dog. The other villagers, assuming that the blacksmith's behavior toward Inglehart must be deserved, followed suit. Please. Now in the same town there lived a rich baron. The baron maintained a patronly and righteous face with the villagers, but it was rumored that he was actually unspeakably cruel and wicked. There was also a young maiden, Hildegunda, who was lovely and good-hearted. Hildegunda was the only one who took pity on Inglehart and was kind to him. Inglehart loved Hildegunda madly, but was too shy and too penniless to even speak of it. In the first act, we learn that Hildegunda's parents, blinded by the prospective fortune, have betrothed her to the Baron. When Hildegunda learns of this, she is terrified and protests that the Baron is reputed to be evil, but her parents brush this off as jealous rumors and demand her obedience. Poor Hildegunda is too good to defy her parents' wishes, and so she reluctantly agrees. The Baron, with great public ceremony, sends Hildegunda a betrothal gift of a silver jewelry box. Hildegunda, overcome by her fear and anger at the betrothal, casts the jewelry box into the fire. She is immediately remorseful and pulls it out, but it is too late. The delicate silver has been madly marred. Hildegunda fears for her life when she sees the damage. She is afraid the blacksmith would report the damage to the Baron, so she approaches Engelhart and begs him to help her. Engelhart thinks of his master's warning, but determines to disregard it for Hildegunda's sake. He melts down the silver and constructs another box even more beautiful than the first. When Hildegunda sees his great artistic skill, she falls in love with him. The two come together in an aria of love, but their bliss is momentary. What about the betrothal? The young couple, knowing the Baron will never relinquish his claim, decide to run away. Act Two. The Baron learns of Hildegunda and Inglehart's disappearance. He is so furious that he hires hunters to track the pair down. Hildegunda and Inglehart are found and arrested. In a public trial, Hildegunda pleads their case in a stirring aria. She tells the townspeople of Inglehart's great skill and his mistreatment by the blacksmith. She tells them Inglehart is good and kind. The blacksmith should be turned out for his evils and Inglehart given the shop. Then she and Inglehart could marry and live in peace with their neighbors. Her parents chose a groom for her, but she begs to be allowed her own choice. It is then the Baron's turn to speak. He declares that he has been terribly injured, a victim of a wayward girl. His marriage claim was first. There can be no other. He implies that if the villagers do not help him make it right, he will remove his aid from the village coffers. <laughs> then the Baron turns to Inglehart. By the rights of the injured, Damn. The so Baron announces play. he is empowered to set a curse. The Baron curses Inglehart with a terrible and ancient malady, that whenever the moon shines in the night, Inglehart will become a marauding wolf. The village is terrified of wolves and has been plagued for many years by a local renegade wolf which has taken the lives of many children. The Baron further declares that because he is merciful, he will still marry Hildegunda, but not until she renounces Inglehart with her own words. Until she does, he will keep her safe from further shame by locking her up in a small room at the top of his house. The villagers naturally side with the Baron. Hildegunda goes to her prison, and Inglehart does indeed become a wolf at night. At first, Inglehart is hated and feared by the villagers. They make the sign of the evil eye at him and will not tolerate his presence in town. But soon, rumors start to circulate about Inglehart the wolf. It seems he is always careful not to harm any human being nor any domestic stock. In fact, he even does some good for the villagers. He scares away bandits and he keeps the renegade wolf at bay. No more children are lost to the fangs of the night. Engelhart's kindness shines through even the dire nature of his curse. Hildegunda, meanwhile, still loves Engelhart as much as ever, whatever curse he might be under and whatever acts that curse might force him to commit. When she hears of Inglehart's successful mastery of the curse, she dedicates herself to him forever. 
Hildegunda tells the Baron that she will never renounce Ingelhart. The Baron's plan having collapsed before him, having given Ingelhart dignity rather than removed it, he flies into a rage. He tells Hildegunda that he will marry her anyway, and on the morrow at that. She will become his wife or her parents' life will be forfeit. Act Three. The final act begins with the wedding feast for Hildegunda and the Baron. Hildegunda has cooperated due to her fear for her parents' lives, but now that the service is over, she is horrified to find herself that Baron's wife and is mourning her final separation from Ingelhart. After her poignant opening aria, the Baron approaches her and tries to draw her back to the party. He calls for the entertainment, hoping to cheer her up. In strides a traveling show of minstrels. They wear comic costumes and full face paint and immediately proceed to play and juggle for the crowd. One of them, a mime with a tragic frown painted on his face, seems to want to hover near and amuse the bride. She keeps brushing him off, clearly depressed and tearful, and he does his best to make her laugh. After the amusing antics of the minstrel's first song, the tone changes the minstrel's music grows dark and theatrical. The Baron protests, preferring the comedy, but he's reassured by Hildegunda's father. The minstrels gather in a circle around the frowning minstrel. They whirl around him, and he slowly sinks from sight. The music grows more frantic. Suddenly, the minstrels burst apart like petals, and standing in the center of the room is a wolf. The villagers scream, but Hildegunda cries out that it is Ingelhart. The wolf does not attack the crowd. It only lifts its head and begins to howl. The Baron screams at the wolf to stop, and he screams at the villagers to kill the wolf, but they only stare in horror. The Baron pulls his hair and gnashes his teeth. He rises and makes it to the center of the banquet hall, where he falls down in a heap of wedding silk. What emerges from the silk is another wolf. Ingelhart has revealed the Baron's terrible secret for all to see. He was the renegade wolf that had terrorized the village. Ah. The Baron this is marauding instead of renegade. The through the main archway. Ingelhart leaps after him. The villagers rally in a cry of horror and fury. One of the men grabs an axe from the wall and entreats the others to follow. They will stalk and kill the murderous wolf. The villagers storm through the archway. Hildegunda follows. The final scene takes place in the woods outside the village. The villagers hunt the two wolves. They follow the wolf tracks, singing of the apparent ferocity of the battle between the two wolves. Hildegunda answers the men's excitement with her own fear for Ingelhart's life. The crowd emerges into a clearing. There, the two wolves are engaged in a final deadly embrace. As they watch, Ingelhart triumphs and the barren wolf sinks to the ground and dies. Unfortunately, Ingelhart is mortally wounded. His curse has been broken by the Baron's death, but it is too late. Hildegunda sings her love to him, while the villagers pronounce him a great hero. Ingelhart dies, and all mourn in a sorrowful final aria. Sounds like a pretty good play. And that took a while to read. <laughs> I could use some fresh air, but I don't have time to go outside. Jeez, we have so many directions we can go to. Lots of drains around here. At least they don't have to worry about flooding. Spoopy basement. Lots of... That'll come in handy. Not much in here. Not much in here. Keys from the panel box in the basement. Hmm. Anything else down here?
how quaint. These little latches hold the doors open. these keys to that door anything else in here of theater junk. Looks like an old set piece. Looks like an old set piece. This will come in handy. Where exactly is she just putting that? Seriously, where did she just put that? <laughs> A lot of theater junk. A lot of theater junk. I don't know, I think I remember what you need that for. Cool air's coming in through that vent. It must lead outside. It's creepy down here. Where do the other stairs lead? Oh, I haven't saved it in a while. I pray his keys or something. Oh, did that come from the stairs there? The dressing rooms are back there. They're probably a madhouse right now. That rope might come in handy. Should we be touching this? Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> Good work. They'll find something else to use with the pulley. God, there's so many rooms here. We have one hour, people. Ha Emmerding. Ha Emmerding. Yes, Mr. Costello. Ha Emmerding, I must again protest about my lack of vocalization in Act 3. I have not a single note until the transformation hour. Now, how many times do we have to go over this? You are disguised as a silent minstrel. I know that. But an aria, sung to the audience, off to one side, would be very effective. Hildegard has one. 
happens, but the audience is not supposed to know it's you until the transformation into a wolf. It's a surprise. You know, surprise. I realize that's the way it's written. I simply disagree with its effectiveness. Your opinion is noted. <laughs> Time to get ready, Georg. You go. I, uh, I want to go over this one more time. Easy way over here. There's no easy way to get there from inside the auditorium. There's no easy way to get there from inside mm. the auditorium. There's no easy way to get there from inside the auditorium. Okay. There's no easy way to get there from inside. The dressing rooms are back there. Oh, do I have to go all the way down here? Yes, that's where I went. More rooms? Wait, this looks like the same area. Huh. How are you holding up, Georg? Oh, man. I'm going crazy. I wish I had never blackmailed Klaus into letting me conduct. Uh, don't be ridiculous. The opera was your discovery, Georg, remember? You'll be famous after tonight. Assuming I don't make a complete ass of myself. So, did he not question where she got the thing from? I'm not sure what else to say to Georg. I'm nervous enough. Thank God it's not me on that stage tonight. How's the installation going? All right. Will the last one be up soon? Yeah, soon. I'm not ready to get dressed yet. Oops. Old playbills and schedules. A seating chart. This might be useful. It's a seating chart for the theater. Here's that list I made. I should probably should have come here earlier. I made this list of things to do. I made this list of oh, things to do. I'm not going to read it? The chandeliers. Hmm.
where to seat them. Hmm, so we have to find an usher. Maybe it's just trap him in his seat. I'm not ready to get dressed yet. Why does that look like the statue that he had in his uh, place, like in the bookstore? Dragon statue? feel like someone's put broken glass in my brain I thought we'd have you back in Rittersburg by now the Smiths are waiting for you there it's okay just stick me in a room somewhere are we ready for the test I'll check Could you see about some heat, Gracie? I'm really freezing in here. Are you cold? Sure. It's cold. I'll see what I can do. I'm good. You do that. I should let him rest. Hmm. Grace Nakamura. I think you need those to figure out what seat to seat him in. I just don't remember how this works. Where's the diagram? I suppose that large X had something to do with the seating arrangements. It's in a nice line from the chandeliers. I don't really understand how this works, though. It's showing this... That's the one they're fixing, I would assume, right? So, opposite it? It would be right here, wouldn't it? In the box? Grace Nakamura. It's a long way down. Mm. Those other seats don't look nearly as good as the ones in this box. These seats look comfortable. The restrooms are back there. I don't need to go that way at the moment. Mm. 
Oh. Looks like I found a spotlight, and one that's not often used by the look of it. I should try to aim the spotlight, but I haven't decided where to see Von Glauer yet. No point in aiming it until it's on. Hmm. That's a nice box over there. I could shine the spotlight just about anywhere if I wanted to. That's a nice box over there. That's a nice... Um, how do I, like... How do I decide that? I suppose that large X had something to do with the seating arrangements. It's in a nice line from the chandeliers. That's a nice box over there. Hmm. That's a nice box. I could shine the spotlight just about anywhere if I wanted to. I could shine the spotlight just to... It's the stage. I could shine... It's the stage. Hmm. I'm not sure how you do this again. Gonna be some way to, uh, I like this one. That's a nice box over there. I use a seating chair, maybe? The large X on Wagner's diagram is go. in an area called the Mittel Loge on the seating chart. I'd better check it out. I believe that's the Mittel Loge box over there. I believe that's the Mittel. I suppose that large X had something to do with the seating arrangements. It's in a nice line from the chandeliers. Do I have to walk over there again? I believe that's the... Or... I should try to aim the spotlight, but I haven't decided where to see Von Glauer yet. What if we go back there now? Yeah, we already saw this though, is it? This is definitely the Mitologe. According to Wagner, Von Glauer gets seated here. Lieber too. Now I just need to find a way to block the doors. There we go. It's not... Hey, do I have to walk from somewhere else? Hmm. I guess we could do the spotlight first. Perfect. We really can't do that right now? Oh. Really? Hmm. That's an idea. But the banner alone won't block the doors. It's not strong enough. Surprised it made you zoom it like that. That might work. 
but I'll have to wait until Von Glauer's in here. Okay. Hmm. So, where do I find the usher? Ha. Huh. He's Paul, the head. Oops. He's Paul, the head usher. Paul, yeah. You're going to see two special invitations tonight. One is addressed to a man named Baron von Glauer, the other is Commissar Lieber. Both will be seated in the Mitteloja. I have it marked here. No problem. Oh, and when Commissar Lieber arrives, please find me. I need to speak with him before he's seated. Yes, von Akimura. All right. It's also the heat, I guess. See the to-do list real quick. Grace now. A lot of theater junk. Looks like an old set piece. A lot of theater junk. Hmm. A lot of theater. A lot of th looks. Cool air's coming in through that vent. It must lead outside. Grace knock. There's nothing else in there. Mm. Ha, there it is. I don't think Oops. this is working for some reason. The pilot is already lit. There we go. I don't think I should open the door while the furnace is burning. I should let him rest. I'm not ready to get dressed yet. Hmm. What do we still have to do? Horses are easier to read. How do we test the chandeliers? Hmm. More an HL of possible distraction. What? Wait until last minute. He's Paul, the head usher.
Georg, I need you to promise me something. What? There may be some distractions tonight in the audience in Act Three. I need you to keep playing no matter what. What distractions? What are you saying? Don't get upset. It's just, well, it is opening night. The audience might be a bit rowdy, you know? Are you serious? But we have extra security lined up, so if anything were to happen, it would be taken care of. So just, you know, keep playing. Grace, I, I do not even want to know what you are talking about. This is a brand new Wagner opera. I am not going to stop the performance, even if, if Wagner himself comes floating out on stage. <laughs> Great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Okay, real quick, I'm going to take a small break to go to the washroom. I will be right back. And my keyboard's... Oh, right. For some reason my keyboard was acting up earlier and I tried to launch a uh, program and I forgot. I had to unplug my keyboard and replug it back in to get that working. Hmm. So we're not going to do that. I guess I'll just manually pull up the AFK. And mute my stuff. God, that's going to be awkward. Anyways, BRB. My keyboard is really acting up lately. The driver is anyway. I like having those buttons to just bring up BRB and whatnot. But are they done yet? Herr Silbermeier, I know you're working as fast as you can, but we're opening in less than an hour. I really need to run through some music once you're done. Why music? They will not fall down. I'm sure they won't, but... Uh... Look, you told me they'd be done by noon. Well, you are lucky that we could even make them in so little time. And then we drive them here special this morning. I know that. I know. You've been great. It's just... Is everything at least going according to the diagram? Yeah, we make it work. What do you mean, we make it work? <laughs> this diagram is not so good. Uh, we make changes, yeah? Oh, That's God. not good. Look. There weren't supposed to be changes. I told you to follow the diagram exactly. <laughs> Maybe in 1945 we followed diagram exactly. But today, we make changes. <sighs> what are you saying? These measurements are not the same as today. Now, if we make the chandeliers the same distance from each other, just as marked, but the distance from chandeliers to the walls, no, not the same. Why aren't the measurements the same? This is the Wittelbacher Theater, isn't it? Yeah, but not the same Wittelsbacher Theater. The bombs hit the first one. This one is very close, but smaller. But everything looks so old. Oh, they take the art and the wood and save it. Remake theater later, after well, the war. Of course. Of course. How could I be so plan. stupid? I'm a history major. Uh, it's okay. The chandeliers work good. Same distance from each other, 
But just not to walls. Yes. I'm sure you've done your best. Thank you. Now we just gotta hope it's gonna work. There's nothing else I can say to him that will make any difference now. I've given Georg enough to worry about. I guess that's pretty much everything, yes. yeah. It's time to open the doors. So soon? We're not ready. The performance starts in 15 minutes. The people have been waiting outside for over an hour. All right, just give me five minutes, okay? <sighs> okay. The doors will open in five minutes. No, we don't have time. I found a safe place for you downstairs. You'll be all right there. But the test... It's too late to change anything now, even if we could test it. Come on. Plug your ears and you probably won't feel a thing. Yeah, I still wish we tested it. We're not going to get another shot, Gracie. Just rest. I'll see you later. Gabriel? What? I have to tell you something. I screwed up. What are you talking about, Gracie? The chandelier foreman had to change the measurements. It's the theater. It's not the same Wittelbacher theater. It's been rebuilt, and this one is smaller. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the crystals will work. Please. I can't believe you did this. God damn you, Gracie! You did it on purpose, didn't you? Gabriel! Open the door! Open the goddamn door! No. You open the door this minute. If you can't manage a simple goddamn fucking diagram, I'll take care of things myself. Myself, do you hear me? Open it! I'm sorry. I'll do the best I can. Gracie! Gracie! Makes you wonder what Von Zell was like before he was a werewolf. Here we go. Overture.
Walter. I can't go wandering all over the theater dressed like this. Oh. Commissar Lieber, at your service. I'm one of the show's producers, Herr Lieber. Thank you so much for helping us out this evening. You came with another officer, and you came armed. Is that correct? Just as the invitation specified. But why did you ask me? The Ordnungspolizei usually supply extra security. One of our producers is a fan of yours. <laughs> we needed the extra security, and he wanted to make sure you got good seats for tonight's performance. Oh, they are very good seats, very generous. But... Is there some specific trouble you're expecting this evening? Believe me when I say that nothing at all will probably happen. I hope you are right. I would like to meet this van after the performance. I hope that will be possible, Commissar. Thank you again. My pleasure. This has been two months. I wonder, does he think about that case that often? I guess it hasn't been solved, obviously. I'm not even sure Von Glauer's in there. Okay, so we gotta check on that. Wait, where was that? Was it up at the top, actually? The room with the light? Yeah, this is probably what we need, right? <laughs> oh man, it's the credit theme from the first game. <laughs> Just hope nobody notices this. <laughs> Whoop like that. I guess they they probably ran out of like space on the CD. It's, it's all videos. This game. I remember right. This game was like yeah, three or four to CDs her. too. And this place is moving fast. Act two. looping music. <laughs> the 
there's nothing but a lot of useless junk in here. I don't even think to check my inventory. Grace really should have checked that. <laughs> we got the dagger, wallet, business card, and manuscript. Wait, have we had this the whole time? A little too tasteful if you ask me. Gracie ordered them. I kind of forgot about that. We never had to use that though, did, did we? There's nothing but a lot of useless junk in here. Hmm. Okay. Really, the first time we had to use this, we didn't really. Well, I guess you had to cut the uh, zombie's heart out with it, the first one. But I actually, barely have to use the dagger when you think about it. So he just keeps that in his pants the whole time. <laughs> out there before you knocked it out. I can't go out into the main hall. Sneak into the dressing room. No point in putting on makeup with these jeans. Back here. Oh. Inglehart's minstrel costume. Hmm. I guess. Uh, oh, if it is an item. <laughs> it looks ridiculous of that. Hmm, what is that?
Wouldn't he would see you in the mirror. Terrible idea. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Look on that voice disappears. <laughs> Jeez. Seriously ill for some time before the investigators. I don't remember seeing this before. Bad end. I guess try again, because I'm not loading. Oh, what? Really? You're gonna make me do... Oh, wait. Oh, no, hmm. Wait, I didn't put the costume on. Wait, I got points for looking in the mirror before. Or maybe I didn't. <laughs> That's not going to do anything. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do something before he cleans that up. Oh, we just cleaned up a part. supposed to escape. <laughs> Why can you even do that though? I have to try something. I'm gonna save it next time. if we use a knife on them. I can't do anything with that. There are people outside and they're expecting Engelhart. Are you supposed to do it or no? What? Oh, why didn't I remember what you're supposed to do here? <laughs> uh, 
is there more here that I can... Because when I looked at this... That didn't give me points? But it did. I can't think of anything else to... Nothing we can use on his mouth, is there? Oh, whoops, I didn't... What else is there These look like costumes for the male lead in the opera, Engelhardt. These look like costumes for the male lead in the opera, someone else. There are people outside. That just kills you. Huh. What else is there to do? There are people out. These look like costumes for the male lead in the opera. And hmm. Is it possible I needed something before coming in here? I can't go out into the main hall. Wonder if this pull is being used for anything. Well, hell, who cares? <laughs> Cause it's not gonna let me go out here, right? I can't go up there. If the ushers see me, they'll call security. Oh, he can look at this too, huh? Interesting door latches around here. If I open that door, the fire might go out, and I'm freezing. The fire doesn't need any more coal. Hmm. What am I missing, then, in here? Like, wh why can you look at the mirror? I don't understand. Is it just to show you that the mirror is there? That one do the same thing, okay, in the right side one? Yeah, I guess. Any other items here? These look like costumes for the male lead in the opera, Engelhardt. Mm. Someone else is using it at the moment. There are people outside and they're expect these look like Yeah, I don't get this. What am I missing? Is there another item that I can pick up in here? Hmm. Is that important? Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't fit back on. <laughs> There's nothing in any of these rooms. Any reason for him to look at this? It's empty. It's empty. Hmm. We pretty much had to do this. It's just like I'm not quite ready for my big debut. These look... Engelhardt's minstrel costume. You can leave with the costume. I can't go out. I'm not quite ready for my... Engelhardt's already on stage. I better not be seen like this just yet. These look like costumes for the... These look... But how do I get rid of him? Like, it doesn't make any sense. What am I missing here? There's no time to check my hair now. Someone else is using it at the moment. Oh, that's probably gonna be the same one, right? I just, I don't get this. What am I missing? Help! Maybe if you click on his head, it'll try to grab his mouth. I don't know. It's like it's the same thing, though. These look like there are people outside and there. They wait too long. Like this, these look, there's nothing these, to click on. They're, they're, I don't, I don't get it. All you could do is try to strangle them. Are you looking for something to beat him over the head with? Why can you go over here? Wonder if this pull is being used for anything. Oh hell, who cares? That roll of tape might be useful. Roll of tape? Oh my god. I wouldn't even see it, it blended in with the background. <laughs> Oops. Oh, there we go. Then we just gotta do everything again.
Here we go. Now we got it. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I just want Engelhart too many. He's not going to try to scream through the tape. <laughs> so silly. Here we go. louder than all the other cutscenes. they're actually singing <laughs> someone had to actually write this opera piece <laughs> I 
Ich habe ein Lied zu vorgesehen. Wer zu ihrem Vorteil noch niemals lachte ich mehr. <lacht> It's working. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a smart soak, I guess. Here we are at the final part. Okay, I gotta remember how to do this now. Okay, we have a smell button now. Okay, this is us, that's him. We need to get him away from some of these areas. Doors work, okay. Shit, he's over there. Shit, turn around to them. Get through there. Oh, did I fuck it up? Like I did. Shit. Oh. We got away and we got shot. I think I probably have to ignore that. Second save I made, right? Is... Yeah, it's impossible to win from there. He's already- fuck. I don't remember how to do this quickly. Oops, not N2. And one. I have to go over here then first. I think I got all the the uh, exits done. in case.
Shit, though, I don't remember how what happens if you go into the same room as him, doesn't it? We have to get him on the other side of this. Oh no, he just kills you. Shit. So I don't want to close that door that we closed here. Much easier to save scum this basically. Okay. Now the problem is, what do I do from this? So I can't wait for him to go down there. No, like I fucked it up. I can't think of how to do this. Am I supposed to do it with more rooms than just the four? Shit, I might have fucked up. I don't think this way it works. So no matter what I do, I end up next to him. It still works with this. might need the top rooms though. This is really hard to figure out. I don't think I can do it from that either. <laughs> God.
These doors are all the wrong way, is the problem. I could wait for him. If he goes into this room, I don't think he will. Because he can smell you, too. this. Huh. I think I might have to go back here, but what is this? Hmm. What exactly am I trying to do here? I'm gonna put a question mark by that one because I'm not sure if that's this is better or not. Oh, can he weave that area? He's not gonna weave that area. happens if he- oh, I guess if he just do that, it ends it. Oh, whoops, not end one. Guess back to two. I guess I'll save over some of those ones. I think I need, like, something like that. He's trapped over there. <laughs> Freaking Lieber. Just shoot me over and over again. I have to find a way to funnel him away from those doors. from them, he stays away from them.
Okay, well, we got a new setup that I can save over three with. Gotta think of how to do this part now. Create a circuit by doing that. I'm trying to think how I want to close off the circuit to trap him, though. Don't tell me this is another dead end. Shit. How about if I leave that middle open? Wait a minute. I think this might be it. But again, all these doors are... Oh no, it doesn't matter anymore about the doors. Now there's only one place you can go. Can't save it here. Um, I think I remember how to do this perfectly. <laughs> Just gotta time this right. Am I sure I can't save it? It's so weird. Oh, I went too early! again. Okay, open the thing. Go back to Gabriel. Now we just wait again. What? Oh, that's about the timing I used last time. I waited like half a step longer and it it didn't work. I 
jump already. I don't understand what's going on here. Last time when I waited like half a second longer, it just didn't work. What? I clicked, so I'm kind of confused. Maybe, uh, hold on a sec. I think I might have figured it out. Am I supposed to... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Dang. I hope it didn't show him dead. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work. Set the time this better, but not easy to do. I, I don't get it. Why is that too early? Uh, I don't remember this being that hard to do. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I always find it annoying in adventure games when you know what to do and it just doesn't work. This reminds me of uh first game with the zombies. Am I not clicking on the right spot? I don't get what's going on. I'm so funny. That didn't work. <laughs> Of course, he always gets away. I 
What if I just aim at the fire? If I do the opposite, aim way back here. <laughs> I don't get it. Is it is it like that hard to time this? So if I wait too long, he, he just shoots. It doesn't make any sense. I hate that you have to keep doing this every time. Like, why can't I save it here? That time I waited too long, apparently. This might be a scumvium timing issue, I'm not sure. Wouldn't be the first time. I clicked there, and he fired. So that was too late? Just don't get what's going wrong here. Get it. I really don't remember this being an issue. Like, not this badly. I remember missing it a couple times. Is there something on here that talks about the timing on it? Hold on a sec. Uh, Oh, rip what is that? That just seems like an oversight or something. Because to me, it looks like he's missing and then it goes, but. 
Let me just see what happens here. Like the one thing I didn't try, I guess. Yeah, you have to, that's stupid. You have to press immediately after he tries to leave. Be very confused. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe that part took me so long. I knew the mini game was going to take a while. I wonder if they eventually tell him everything that happened. Got a perfect score. Although I think you kind of have to in this game. I'm not sure. I'm going back to school soon. It's all arranged. Don't do that. You didn't even want me on this case. It came up so quickly. <sighs> Give me a break. Fine, I wanted you safe in America, so sue me. It won't happen again. It won't. What was Von Glauer really like? I liked him. Haven't you ever wished you could just follow your instincts? Live for the moment? Yes. That was Von Glauer. Von Glauer? Was that pit of bodies? Ludwig's suicide? There's always a price, Gabriel. Don't you know that by now? I made my choice, Gracie. So you did. Do you know why? I guess when it comes right down to where the buck stops, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that, Gracie. They won't stop testing you, you know. Who's they? It'll get easier, though. Don't you think, Gracie? Don't you think? <laughs> GG's. That's Gabriel Knight, too. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think it would take this long to finish today. I was thinking of playing this, the third one today, but I go and leave that till next week. I don't think there's anything else after the credits, which is why there's an exit button. <laughs> yeah, this game is fun to play. I kind of can't wait to play the third one, even though it's kind of gonna feel kind of duct taped together use like a fan mod to get it working but anyways GG's that's it for tonight <laughs> uh damn can't use my keyboard buttons need to fix that anyways 
I will be back tomorrow with some more Dragon Quest Monsters. Back on Tuesday with Game on Lake 3. But GG's, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.